Recently, we received a little bit more information on the Mario movie. Now, when I say little, I mean a very, very small amount. No, it's not leaked footage or a leaked character or anything like that whatsoever. Nope, instead, it's a couple of weird sentences which could point towards issues with the movie down the line, said by none other than Charlie Day. Well known for a couple of things, probably. I've only ever seen him in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, so I couldn't tell you. Actually, we had no, he was also in the Lego movie. And the Lego movie, too. Huh. But yes, anyway, he was on one of the talk shows. I think it was Jimmy Fallon. Look, they're garbage. I don't watch them. If you do watch them, you smell funny, but... We received a tiny little bit of information, which is a very interesting piece. See, even if Charlie Day wanted to talk about the movie, which, as you jokingly said, if he did, he'd get his kneecaps broken by Nintendo, he really couldn't. Now, a long time ago, there was this game called Minecraft Story Mode. Trust me, this is relevant. And people really enjoyed watching it and playing through it, even though it was kind of garbage. Now, I think either the sixth or the seventh, like, chapter of the game is broken up into chapters which you had to buy as whole mess. Uh, one of those had YouTubers in it in like a big mansion, so what they did was they got the YouTubers in and made them record their lines and nobody else's. Now this led to some issues as they were trying to stop the YouTubers from seeing what the story was so that that way they can play through and be like, oh my god, wow, what's happening? But this led to a lot of tonal inconsistencies, like the issue with not all recording in one place is that you can't tell what the tone of the scene is. You can't tell if you're supposed to be loud scared, quiet scared, that kind of thing, which it didn't really say on the script. Now, what in God's name does Minecraft Story Mode Season 1, Episode 6 or 7 have to do with the Mario movie? Well, it's because of the way that they're recording this movie as well. Charlie Day is only aware of all the lines that he has to say. He's not aware of any of the actors in it, bar the ones that have been publicly, publicly, Jesus, announced. He doesn't really know much about the story or the music, what it's going to look like. He doesn't really know anything whatsoever, bar his lines, which he's probably forgotten at this point. And most likely, all the other actors have the same thing, where they're all segregated off into different rooms or different times to record their lines. Now, why is this being done? Now, currently, there's two theories circulating around it. We'll get into the first fun one. Now, due to the recent COVID pandemic, and by recent I mean it's been going on for what, two, three odd years now? I think it's just two. Jesus. There's a lot of worry about actors getting sick and people getting sick and infection rates going up and whatever else, so that's the first theory. Yeah, that's it. Just COVID concerns. Pretty lame, even though I said it'd be the fun one. Now, here's the actual fun one. Nintendo is well known for getting stuff leaked, okay? Like... If you've been on the internet for as long as I have, which, mind you, isn't exactly the longest, you will have, you would have seen so many leaks about Nintendo games. Albeit, there were plenty of fake ones, but there's a good heaping of real ones. There's ones talking about release dates, about, you know, gr agreeing to doing things with companies. Even Smash characters have gotten leaked before, mostly during the Smash 4 days. So with this being Nintendo's first ever big break into movies, first ever, there never was one before now, shut up then it makes sense that maybe they would want to keep as much of it as they can under wraps because hey remember when they cancelled like the netflix zelda thing yeah because it got leaked well that might not be the reason but still they're really touchy about this stuff and while i don't think the film getting leaked would cancel it they would probably want to do a giant you know shake up of the script change a bunch of things as to not spoil stuff now actors there's been many a time where an actor has accidentally let a little bit slip about what's in the movie, about this or that. Heck, the first thing we heard about the Mario movie in years was from the person playing Spike in the movie. And him revealing that kind of took a little bit of the thunder away from the announcement within the direct, because, no, we just had somebody confirming that, yes, the Mario movie still exists, and has gone to the point where we've got actors coming in, recording lines. So at this point, the last thing Nintendo wants is somebody going, okay, Here's a little bit of the story, here's me telling you that the film's gonna be complete garbage because of this one plot detail. But no matter what reason they've decided to do this in this way, I might do this, I mean, record, then we still have an issue with the fact that this is a really dumb way to do it. As I stated earlier, this is how they did it for that one Minecraft story mode thing, and it felt really odd and off, all the dialogue between the characters, because they weren't actually speaking to each other. 
And while that was being made by a studio slowly falling to pieces because their games are becoming more and more not good at all, and this is a proper big movie with backing from one of the largest gaming companies, one of the largest movie companies, it's still quite worrying, to be completely honest with you. I, throughout the entire time of the Mario movies, you know, being known as existing, I have been kind of worried about it, and so has many other fans, because Nintendo hasn't exactly been good as of late when it comes to Mario plus story. Like, what people want to see from a Mario story would be, well, what was seen in Mario Story, or Mario Story 2, or Super Paper Mario. See, that's right, I, I use the Japanese names, that means I'm smart. But yes, people want to see the stories seen in the first three Paper Mario games, or they'd even be really happy with what's seen in Mario & Luigi. That kind of goofy type of thing. The last thing people want to see is Mario & Luigi Go Save Peach. And even that, even that can be fine, as long as it isn't against Bowser. Like, look at Thousand Year Door. That game still has evil person kidnaps Peach for use against uh, the world. And yet, that's still people's favorite story, because it had the Thousand Year Old Demon. It had Bowser being this kind of semi-villain, not the main one. Heck, even 64, which followed that trope exactly, still did really well with having Bowser be seen as this kind of comedic but still the villain, still somewhat threatening side. Now, as I said before, the fact that Jack Black is Bowser makes me think that they will have him be that more jokey kind of self, which does give me a little bit of hope, but this film is still being made by Illumination. Illumination's films are like new Super Mario Bros. games. They are so fine. There's nothing wrong with them, per se, but there's nothing right with them. Like, if you cook yourself toast for breakfast and put butter on it, that, that's fine, that's what Illumination is, but then you've got people who make complete garbage, and then you've got ones who make really good things. The breakfast equivalent to those, I don't know what to say, but still. Illumination does this by making the animation pretty good, but never overly spectacular. Like, look at the animation of whatever the newest film is, but Secret Life of Pets 2? No, that was a while ago. That might be it, I literally have no clue. Look at the animation of the most recent film, look at the animation of Clyde with a Chance of Meatballs. That film was, was from quite a while ago. Clyde with a Chance of Meatballs 2 as well, or even The Mitchells, which, now that's a bit of an unfair comparison. But wait, all of it is. Illumination's films, while their animation's nice, it just doesn't compare to what's seen in those ones. Now, mind you, this is what people were thinking back when we heard about this, back in like 2017-ish, when all we had for good Mario stories at that point were the old ones that had been abandoned, and Mario Odyssey, kinda. And like, even then, the thing about Odyssey is it's just, it was the same thing again, but it just was changed a little. So really, this new thing that's been announced, well not announced, but this new thing that's been leaked per se, this everyone's disconnected, all the audio recordings are at different times, is just another thing to pile on to what's making people worry about this film. Now, the real decider here is going to be the trailer. Will we see, like, just bad humor, clearly made for really young children, which anybody who stuck around with Nintendo for a while, even me, look, it's quite obvious I'm not, like, in my 30s or some crap, so it's, yeah. But even I would be a bit far out from what Illumination's films usually are when it comes to demographic. So the last thing that I would want to see is for this film to be for the demographic which I am no longer in, and which most of the fans of Mario are no longer in. It's entirely possible to make a movie appropriate for children, but still enjoyable for those who are older. The Mitchells, Clyde with a Chance of Meatballs, those are films which people from most ages can enjoy. The Spongebob movie, for Christ's sake, that was made years ago, and yet people can still enjoy that if they're young, if they're in the middle, if they're old, they can still enjoy it. But we'll have to wait for said trailer to be able to tell what demographic they're going for. We'll have to wait to see if the humor will be good, bad, if the story will be good or bad. If Waluigi's in it, which will make it either good or bad. Speaking of Waluigi, if he's in it, you know, you gotta get Jim Carrey in for him. Willem Dafoe would also work. I'm just saying. You know, if only this was being made earlier, then Stefan Carl Stephenson could have been in, because, you know, there's already thousands of comparisons of Robbie Rotten and Waluigi. But yes, yeah, so, what do you think about this information? Do you find it good, somehow, that everyone's completely disconnected? Do you find it bad? Who knows? We'll just have to sit tight and wait. Which will be excruciating. 
Speaking of waiting and things that are excruciating, now, the time I am recording this is uh, 20 past 6 on the 31st of January. So, suffice to say, we aren't exactly getting a direct this month. Uh, before we get into that, I'm just going to quickly discuss the fact that I made a video on that whole thing, but I never uploaded it. The film was kind of crummy, to be completely honest with you. I don't know why I said film there. It was quite sloppy and just not overall enjoyable, but the main gist of it was that we looked back and saw how many directs there were in January's and February's past. And in most years, starting from the first Nintendo Direct, there was. However, it started to wane a little if whether or not we get one in the 2020, 2021, 2022, 2019 years. I could have just said 2019 onward there. Uh, I recorded that video like eight days ago, so... And it was on the 23rd, so we still had a small chance of seeing a direct then, but we didn't get one. So, yep, that leads us into, will we see one in February? I still really think so. As I think I've said before, or it might just be in that deleted, well, not quite deleted, never made video, we have very little of this year, kind of. Like, we know not all too many things, all things considered. Like, Breath of the Wild 2, they're saying 2022, but I'm really thinking that they might delay it till next year. I hope they don't, but I think they might. Kirby will be, will be coming out in March. Pokemon Arceus has already came out, and I don't care whatsoever. I've heard good things about the game, and it does look a lot better than the usual Pokemon stuff, but I don't think I'd want to buy it. I will probably end up playing it, though, as people I know that have that game would probably be willing to trade it with me while I give them a game for a while, but still. We also got Splatoon 3, which people are thinking will be summertime, including me, which, you know, that makes sense for your big summer title to be Splatoon 3. So, one game for my birthday, ha ha ho. I think Bayonetta 3 is also something coming out, but I don't care. And that's it. No, that's still a good couple things, mind you, but we don't really have the big one. Most years have a title that is the big one of the year. Except for 2020. I, I don't know what you could consider the big one of that year, like... Pikmin 3, not really. Mario, the Origami King, was quite early on. Like, it could still be considered the big one, but I don't know. Anyway, anyway, yeah. There's nothing here that really could be considered the big one, unless Breath of the Wild 2 is still this year. Not only that, but also the games that we do have coming out this year, we don't really know that much about. And by that, I'm mostly talking about Mario and Rabbids 2, which I forget if I mentioned or not. We only got that one trailer from way back last year. Yep, long time ago. So we still haven't heard, ugh, Jesus, heard much about it. Breath of the Wild 2 has had a teaser trailer which showed us very little and an actual trailer and nothing else. For Christ's sake, we still don't know the title, which at this point it might as well just be called Breath of the Wild 2 since that's what people recognize it and call it. Bayonetta 3 only had that one trailer as well. So yeah, that's it. We know very little about some of the games coming out this year. We don't know that many games that are coming out this year. Yeah, we're in for a direct. And that's just things that we can think of. That's not thinking about stuff such as DLCs or more things added to Nintendo Switch Online. Speaking of which, might as well touch on that. Might make a video on it. Uh, Nintendo had this thing showing off what they're planning for the future. And they showed, okay, look, here's your subscription service. Here's all the things we're adding on to it. It starts off very small, but it keeps going. So... Hopefully by that they mean, hey, we're adding another system, and please, God, please let it be one I care about. Like, if it's the Game Boy, I'm gonna play five minutes of WarioWare before getting sick of it. And that's it. If it's gotta be a Game Boy, let it be the Game Boy Advance, which is the much cooler system. Mostly because it features Mario and Luigi. Hey, speaking of Mario and Luigi, <laughs> there could also be trailers for things, such as the Mario movie thrown into Direct as well. Or trailers for other movies, which is something that we haven't considered whatsoever. There's plenty to be theoretically announced, there's plenty of trailers that need to be shown, plenty of indies to take up time between the big things, plenty of directs needed to be filled up with RPGs going, hey look, you press the fight button and then they do damage to the other guy, then the other guy attacks you back. Whoa, riveting. Now, let's look at the th alternative of what happens if we don't get one in February. Now, if this happens... We will pray for one in March, and if that doesn't happen, then April, May, June, which is E3 time, I hope to Christ there's an E3. Oh, they didn't do one? Yeah. Who knows, we might be in for another really quiet year. Nintendo has had this 
awful cycle of 2017. Great year. 2018, all he had was Smash, really. 2019, oh, great year. Luigi's Mansion was there. Top notch. 2020, I, I don't remember there being anything. 2021, oh, yep. Fantastic year. Metroid. Bowser's Fury. WarioWare. <laughs> and by that logic, 2022 would be another... But there's like one great thing, and that one great thing will be maybe Breath of the Wild 2, maybe not. But yeah, I really do think that we will be getting a direct soon enough in February. At the most latest March, but hopefully this month. Because once again, the last one we got was in September. And we got literally nothing during the Game Awards. So yeah, what do you think of everything in this video? I decided to shove the two topics together because why not? I mean... I could have had just one 10 minute video, one 7 odd minute video, but eh. Do you think that the Mario movie will be good, bad, whatever else? Do you think this information proves your point, diminishes what you think? Something like that. I don't know, and do you think we'll be seeing a direct February time? What do you think we'll see in it? I'm going to be making a video on that, even though I basically just said what I expect to see it here. I'm going to say it again. Trailers for games we know, one or two new things, and like maybe an expansion to the NSO. But before we end off the video, I just want to quickly say, uh, sorry about the lack of uploads, January is just a garbage month. With people going back to school and work and all after Christmas and the ad revenue being low, the weather being quite garbage, January is just quite a bad month, as well as for gaming news, because there's nothing. Like, the two big things that happened in gaming were what, Microsoft buying Activision, which Okay, well, what am I going to talk about? The fact that they won't do anything with Crash and Spyro, probably? Okay, Crash, maybe, but Spyro. And Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I don't care about. So, yep, yeah, if you want to come back to this video sometime, leave a like, uh, comment the things that I asked you earlier, or something different, calling me a poopy face. Who cares? I'm probably going to read it anyway because it gets so little. If you've seen a couple of my videos now, please consider subscribing. I want the big funny number to get bigger. So, yeah. Bye. See, you only said bye once that time. That's This is something entirely new. I bet you didn't expect that.